Yeah. <laughs> Jean, what do you think about all this? How do you feel about Hubby being a magician? Oh, it's uh, interesting, very interesting. <laughs> the house is absolutely jam-packed with videos, tricks. One cupboard is absolutely, like I say, full. Uh, sponge bunnies tumble out <laughs> <laughs> and just loads and loads of fun and I watch Andy and I'm I, I'm his um, what can you say is his watcher I w just to observe and mm. Uh, see if I can see anything, and I never ever can. And you never can. No, after all these so years. So all these tricks are tried out on you first, are they? Oh yes. Yeah. Yeah. He's Did never they? he's never threatened to saw you in half, has he, Jean? No, <laughs> <laughs> not yet. <laughs> There's always time. <laughs> Get the buper first. Get the buper first. <laughs> and what about you, Jean? I know that uh, you read tarot cards. It's one of your skills. Yes, I do. Uh, I do. And I find it very interesting. I find the people very interesting mm. that actually come to me. And uh, what, what else can I say? It's interesting. How long have you been doing it? Oh, a few years now. A few years. Yeah. Uh, uh, Andy actually got me into it. Okay. Uh, a very well-known tarot reader produced a video. Yeah. Andy got the video and they said, watch this, see what you think. I said, oh, I could never do that. It's impossible, I can't do it. But I watched and Andy bought me some cards and I learned what the cards were and what they meant and I found that I practiced with friends and then I found it, I was quite intuitive with it. Yeah. And I didn't need the instructions anymore. So it was, you know, it was, but everything you have to, everything has instructions to start with. Of course it does. But yeah, yeah. and uh, I found that, yes, I could do it. And then friends kept saying, well, you're doing my cards again. Can mm -hmm. you do them again? I said, yeah, of course I can, yeah. And from then on, it just snowballed. But I was always the sort of person for family and work that they came to if they wanted uh, to talk about something or if they'd got a problem. It was always, Jean, what would you do about this? And, you know, it just went from there. And it, it's added another dimension. Yeah, I, I can imagine it is. So uh, and going with the magician, the, you know, the magic side of things as well, it's, uh, it's well, I can imagine you've got... Um that, that particular type of household, you must have things everywhere. Right? You have the, oh, the, the oh, crystals yeah. and... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I've, <laughs> yeah, I've actually got some new cards. I mean, these are old faithfuls that I've got here. Uh, but I've got some new ones, and they're uh, a, a totally new thing for me. It's a Japanese Zen oh, okay. cards. Uh, but I'm still getting into them, but they are so, so good. They say so much yeah. to me. Because cards are very special, aren't they? Because I had a friend back in the UK that used to read tarot, mm. and she would only use one particular pack of cards. Yeah. Well, these that I've got now are the ones I started with. Yeah. They're getting a bit grubby and a bit worn, So, uh, but you should never buy your own cards. Mm. No. So they no. come to you, you don't go and buy them. Yeah. Oh, right, yeah. Okay. Or you're yeah. giving them. Yeah, well, yeah. yeah. And uh, Andy bought me these new ones, and I'm still getting into them, but they are quite, quite something special. <laughs> and I can't wait to launch them. <laughs> to launch them onto, onto society. Yeah. Yes. Well, I'm sure if you're listening and you've got a question for either Jean or Andy, then let us know. You can uh, contact us by texting 6345 uh, You can email info at englishradiomiorca.com. They'll be with us for a while, so we can uh, get your question to them. Or you can make friends with English Radio Mallorca on Facebook and send us an instant message for either Andy the magician or Jean, the lovely tarot card reader here, with other skills as well, uh, intuitive skills, shall we? say. Now, on the subject of cards, up next, Andy is going to uh, invite us to do uh, a radio first, which is an experiment with playing cards. So if you've got some cards at home, make sure you've got them handy. We only need nine out of a normal pack, is that right, Andy? Exactly, nine cards. No jokers, just, just nine normal cards out of any pack. All right. And everyone in the house can all join in, so give everybody in the house nine cards. Okay, we'll see what happens next. What's new, pussycat? Whoa! Tom 
Tom Jones and what's new, Pussycat? What's new on the radio? A magic trick on the radio is new. Uh, with us in the studio, we've got Laura and Terry, of course, and with us in the studio is Andy Charlton and uh, his lovely wife, Jean, who are talking magic there this afternoon, as it is now, at 12 minutes past 12. Just had a an email come through for you, Andy, and this is from Nicola, who uh, is a... Well, she's obviously seen your show before because she says she loves what you do, but she's saying, what do you think of people uh, that, like the new, if you want to call them the new breed of magicians, and in particular, Darren Brown. Darren Brown, are you a fan of his, or do you think it's all a bit, you know? I'm a no. massive fan of Darren Brown. Oh, good. Yeah, I've, I've went to see him live oh. when he did his first tour. Mm-hmm. When I'd only seen him do his... I'm not a massive fan of the series that he does on TV. Right. I must admit, but his live show, and his, they've, they've televised his live show. Yeah. Uh, and I'm a massive, massive fan of that. I think he's a tremendous entertainer. Uh, it I really is. Being a magician, having a, your show televised is a nightmare because you've got to keep coming up with new tricks. Yeah, it is. Though I'll tell you what, me and Gene many years ago went to London. Uh, a guy called John Lenahan, excellent magician, used to do a thing called Monday, Light, Monday Night Magic in Highgate. Mm-hmm. And me and Gene went and saw that. And there was a guy on there called Andy Nyman. Um, and he was the first entertaining mind reader I'd ever seen with all respect to the ones I'd seen before he was the first one who was really entertaining mm-hmm. and then a year later suddenly Darren Brown was on TV like the second yeah. really entertaining mind reader and it turned out that Andy Nyman had basically been offered the job of being the TV mind reader by yeah. Objective Productions who made the Darren Brown shows uh, and Andy Nyman has said no he's because he's an actor he does voiceover work and he was really really busy uh, and he said no to that but he did he does co-write it he said I know a great great magician and mind reader mm. who will be perfect for it mm-hmm. and so the two of them sort of combined their skills mm. Andy co-writes and produces the show Darren stars in it mm-hmm. uh, and what a team that's why they're the, the two the two probably best in the world at what they do that's and nice like I, said, they, I think they, they're sensational that's nice that they work in, uh, in you know, you helping each other. I mean, mm. one of the things we t- we we're always amazed about here on the island is the, the great entertainers that we have on this island who are happy to help each other. They're not competing with each other. Mm-hmm. I mean, obviously, you know, they will be because the gigs. You know, there's only one gig yeah. and one person can do it. But the the amount of uh, great help and support that the entertainers on the island give each other is it the same in the magic world? Do magicians help each other, or, or are they at each other's throats sometimes? No, they do. Um, they're, they're, the the way the way most magicians learn most of their tricks is pardon the expression but it's like I'll show you mine if you show me yours <laughs> um, <laughs> once, once you find once you're talking to another magician once you know they've put the work in mm. uh, you know the sort of level they're at 99% of magicians are very very happy to share what they know mm. with someone else as long as they know they're not just after trying to find the secrets out and yeah, so yeah. on yeah. once they know that, that they're really genuinely interested magicians are, are normally very happy to share stuff with each other yeah. uh, that's, that's really there's great, I mean, to, to start a book Mark Wilson's Complete Course in Magic just buy that it's 12 quid off Amazon yeah. best magic book in the world but once you get beyond that once you learn a few things from that start talking to magicians I guarantee if you can go to any magician and show him you can do a trick one trick no matter how simple really well he'll show you more he'll, show, yeah. he'll start yeah. sharing sure. with you yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's lovely yeah. now what are we doing with these nine playing cards have you got some playing cards in there Terry? I've got some playing cards yes yeah, yeah. yeah. So,